Josh Heupel, Tennessee head coach. I what coach? What stands out about Hendon Hooker as a player? How are you, first coach? How you doing, man? Hey. You doing good? <laughs> hey, I'm doing today? great. I'm doing awesome, man. Great day for our guys coming up this evening. Really excited for them. Keyshawn, great job putting everybody on to Hendon Hooker. I appreciate that. Oh yeah, no, it's a. I saw him. I saw him at uh, Virginia Tech when he was fighting it out with Burmeister, and then when he transferred to to you, I saw him that little bit of his junior season, a little bit, and then obviously his senior year, uh, the Alabama game. I watched closely, and then he got injured. But I was telling Max them the whole time. I'm like, man, this this the yeah, dude. He can go. He can go. I'm he like, told this me dude early can in the go. season. Yeah. Yeah. You know, yeah. he's got an opportunity once he gets healthy. That's for sure. So, hey, coach. No what is it about him? He looks special to me. What is it about him? Uh, first of all, he's infectious inside the building. And uh, you guys know, man, if you're playing the quarterback position, you got to have great leadership traits and you got to affect the people in a positive way. Offense, defense, special teams. And, and he brings that energy and that focus every single day. Um, as a playmaker, uh, he's dynamic, man. He's got talent to to spread it sideline to sideline, vertically down the field, extremely accurate with the deep ball. And uh, he's got the ability to have great pocket presence and make plays and extend plays with his feet. And uh, you look at what he was able to do over the past two years, 50-plus uh, touchdowns and, I don't know, a, a few picks. Um, just uh, a dynamic playmaker. He changed, uh, changed Tennessee, man. When you – going through this process and I'm sure you know coaches came in and scouts came in and they wanted to know a lot about him and they had the questions about being able to understand the concepts at the National Football League because obviously your system's a little different you got wide splits guys are standing at the water buckets all those sort of things is that a concern was that a concern at all on some of the coaches that you visited with about that no, they they certainly asked about what we're doing offensively. Um, you know, the success that we've had on the offensive side of the ball. Uh, I've spent a lot of time, and I know uh, Hendon has as well, uh, kind of diagramming what we do and, and uh, you know, out of our stack formations uh, from our splits. Um, but he's been exposed to all of it. Uh, we get into really tight splits as well. Uh, he's got pure progression reads uh, left to right, one through five. Um, he's got high low concepts. I think what people don't understand because we play inside of a tempo offense is how much is on his plate. He controls everything that we're doing in the run game. He's got run run checks, uh, pass run checks. Uh, he's got alerts. He's got kills. He controls it all. And he's got a great understanding of, of protections. And I think that's why he's really climbed the draft board on the back end of getting injured this season, uh, where he probably dropped out of the first round with the way that he was playing and then gets injured. Uh, but he's kind of, uh, you know, pushed himself back up into uh, the first round uh, with the way that he's gone through the interview process, being able to show his football IQ. Tennessee head coach Josh Heupel joining the show here on Keyshawn, J. Will, and Max. Coach, uh, you know, no player entering the draft is a finished product. Uh, from your perspective, what do you think Hendon needs to continue to improve on to excel at the next level? Well, I think he, he's going to have to continue to grow under center. Uh, in what we do, we're, we're in the gun, uh, you know, majority of, of what we do. So he's going to have to continue to grow in that way. Uh, but his exposure and his growth, uh, what he's done on, on the collegiate level, I do think that he'll be able to correlate what he's getting in uh, the playbook with whichever franchise he goes to and be able to correlate it to something that he's done, which will allow him to grasp it and control it and go execute it at a really high level really quick. Quickly. Um, I'm really excited about, uh, you know, what's going to happen for him tonight. Man, you got, I don't know how many guys in this year's draft. You got Tillman. You got uh, the Hyatt, the other receiver. Gosh, I know I'm missing, like, y'all got, like, four receivers in this year's draft. Which one of those guys you think has the, the most upside that's not a finished product yet? Man, you can't make me pick between two of my sons. Uh, both of those guys <laughs> are going to have, have great careers. 
they're different in in their skill sets, their body types, and where they've played. You know, Timman's been on the outside for us, played on the right side a majority of the time. Um, got great length, great body control, extremely competitive, uh, great on the deep ball, uh, knowing how to use his body and uh, shield off defenders. Got a great catch radius over uh, the middle of the football field. Jalen Hyatt wins the Blitnikoff, most dynamic player in in, uh, in college football last year. Ability to spread the or stretch the field vertically with his uh, elite speed uh, has the ability to win one-on-one matchups uh, on the perimeter all day long um, I think both of those guys uh, go to the right system right franchise uh, and uh, the right offensive scheme are going to be uh, elite players Josh I just want to ask you before we let you go I want to ask you about the, the college football portal the NIL what, what what do you think about the way the portal and NIL has changed college football well, it's changed it. There, there's no doubt. If uh, if anybody complains about it, uh, you're wasting your time. Uh, it's the landscape that we live in. Uh, at the end of the day, uh, the portal provides opportunity for some guys that uh, may be stuck or in, in a bad situation to find the right home uh, to continue their career uh, on and off the field. Um, and uh, it gives us an opportunity to, to patch our rosters, uh, similar to what junior college recruiting used to be. Um, it's different. Um, it's certainly different than when uh, when you and I played. Uh, at the same time, it is what it is, and uh, uh, you got to navigate that space in a really, uh, you know, positive way. Yeah, because Oklahoma, you got all that money you got from Oklahoma, man, I mean, jeez. In the NIL. <laughs> I, I wish. I wish. <laughs> it wasn't me. It might have been going somewhere else. <laughs> Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, Subscribe to ESPN+.